All right, let's move on now to a question from Mark. Mark says, do you have any suggestions for how working parents can schedule their time to maximize time spent with children given eight-hour workdays, fitness, and household tasks? Well, it's, it's hard because especially household tasks take up a lot of time. Uh, fitness, you can fit that. You can might be able to fit that somewhere else, but household tasks take a lot of time. Everyone's tired. The, the, if it's an eight-hour day, your kids are probably in some sort of aftercare that they're coming home from. They're tired. You're tired. You've just been working. You've just been commuting. So set your expectations lower for the actual uh, work days. I think that is reasonable advice. Two, maximize the weekends more. So I'm a proponent of be very wary about the instinct to say, this would be enriching, so let's do that activity. And you know, that would be good too. Let's do that activity. And actually, you know, I think it'd be really good for them to spend time with so-and-so. It's the, the allure of child schedule construction on paper. You produce this thing that has all these attributes you like. There's a real allure to that. But when you implement these crowded schedules in the child's real life, it's mainly basically people yelling in a Honda Odyssey. It's all this overhead, all this stress, everyone is exhausted. And so your schedule on paper, this is just my personal opinion, should probably be way more sparse than in the moment when you're creating a schedule for your kids. You're thinking like, well, they should probably do that and probably do this. They don't know. They want to be with you and not be really tired. So that frees more time on the weekend so you can really spend more time together. And then you choose your moments, I suppose, in the weeknights. We do dinner together. There's build something around the bedtime routine. You know, I'm a big believer in having one outing per kid per week. All right, we are going to go. I'm going to pick you up from school, just you, and we're going to go throw the baseball around and get dinner. Okay, me and you are going to go to the bookstore on this night and get a book. And so, you know, some days are busy. You don't have time for this. But if a kid is getting... And again, I have no back, I'm not the expert on this. My only expertise is like everyone else who's a parent, I have a bunch of kids and this is just me pulling stuff, you know, out of a hat here. So keep that in mind. But if a kid feels like they've had one serious one-on-one -on -one thing with you per week and there's time spent with them every day and they're not completely exhausted being dragged around on the weekend, I think that's probably pretty good. I think that's probably pretty good. I think you're, you're about, uh, you're doing everything you need to do. And I wouldn't be too guilty behind it. Fitness, I said in the beginning, you can probably hack that. I mean, fitness really is a thing that, you know, if you've got young kids and they're in school, I don't know. I don't think you can, it's optimal to lose like an hour of that evening time exercising. So I think you should steal that from work to the extent possible. Just find a way to steal that time from work. Just go during the lunch hour, bike to work and exercise at the gym nearby before you go to work. Do it in the morning before you go. I often am exercising after I put the kids to bed so I don't have a lot of time then. So I do very intense, high intensity exercising just so I can get it done. That's something where I think you can steal time from work. That's my other hack. I, maybe not all of my hacks should really reduce the steal stuff from work. But that's my other hack is steal time from work for household admin too. And be efficient about it, but there's 30 minutes well deployed in the middle of a workday can get a lot done that needs to be done for the household. So, you know, hopefully no administrators are working. I used to use the first 30 minutes. I mean, there's no real work day for being a professor, but I would spend what most people would consider to be the first 30 minutes of the work day after nine, always doing household admin. And I found if you could do 30 minutes of household admin every morning before you start your day, the amount that awaits you at the end of the week or in the evening is actually much less. So this idea that when you're at work as a knowledge worker, that it's like you're clocking in at a factory and every minute you should be cranking widgets. That's crazy. There's ups, there's downs, high intensity recovery. So steal some time for exercise from work, steal some time for household admin, and then mess around with the type of strategies I talked about before. And I think that's, you'll be doing fine. You'll be doing fine.